Here we go, just picking out my next travel adventure. You've got it planned. Yeah, and this weekend it is the Star Tribune Vacation and Travel Experience at the Minneapolis Convention Center. And, and you know, if you're going to bring in an expert, have somebody who's written a hugely popular series of travel guides. You probably uh, used one of these Fromers guides before. Pauline I know Fromer I have. is with us here on Mid-Morning. Great to have you here. Well, it's great to be in Minneapolis. I'm eating so well here. Oh, it's, good. To heck with the weather. It's wonderful to be here. <laughs> we love to we hear love that. that. Uh, t tell us about your history. How did you become a travel writer? Well, my father founded the Fromer Guides. He mm -hmm. actually was drafted into the Korean War, uh, but instead uh, he was uh, sent to Europe where he started writing guides for his fellow GIs. And that's how we began. That's fantastic. And I imagine, too, I mean, you'd have to do a fair amount of traveling with this job. Do you I, yes, I can't absolutely. even imagine. What are some of your favorite places? Can you even pick? Oh, my goodness. I always say my favorite place is the last place I've been. Oh, and I love that. that would be New Zealand. <gasps> New oh. Zealand is so special. It really does look like Lord of the Rings. It's just this spectacular place of peace and wild adventure. Awesome. What are you looking for when you visit a new place? I, I find that when I'm traveling, it's just restaurants, pretty much. <laughs> As, but what are you looking for? How, what makes a good trip? Well, I'm always looking for value for our readers. We always try and find out the cheapest ways for people to have great luxury mm -hmm. when they can. And I'll be talking about that uh, at the Star Tribune Vacation and Travel Experience. Uh, so I'm always looking at the tips, like you go to a city like Paris, mm -hmm. for example, and you're going to be told there is a pass you can have for sightseeing. Does it actually pay it off? Yeah. Yeah. So many of those passes, you end up at the torture museum, places yeah. you wouldn't go to otherwise just trying to make it pay off so uh, there are so many kind of myths out mm -hmm. there or legends anyway about mm -hmm. whether there's a better day of the week to buy plane tickets is there not a myth it's, it's true? not a myth Ooh. there was a study of 26 million fare transactions okay and they found out statistically if you book your airfare on the weekend, you save 19%. No, I thought it was huh. Tuesday and Look, Wednesday. It used to be Tuesday. Darn it. The old, the old study showed Tuesday, but now oh. it's the weekend. I think it's because corporate travel agents don't work on weekends. Right. Oh, that makes so sense. So they know you're a leisure traveler and they want to get your business. I feel like every couple of years we see these kind of hot spots pop up. Do you see kind of any trends for 2018? Oh, yeah. Well, we are looking at that. We're Next week we'll, we will be uh, releasing Fromer's Best Places to to go in 2018. So look at Fromers.com. One of the places we're saying is the Caribbean, because so many islands were untouched. People don't know it. The whole uh, region is being oh, wow. shunned, so good and prices there. are plummeting. Mm -hmm. Plus, great for their economies too. Yeah. Star Tribune mm -hmm. Vacation and Travel Experience is tomorrow and Sunday at the Minneapolis Convention Center. It's 10 to 6 and 10 to 4 on Sunday. Tickets are $10. Uh, you can bring your teenagers, 16 and under, get in for free. Well, and Pauline, you'll be speaking, right? I will be speaking. There will be a beer pavilion, zip lines. It's going to be great. Very wow. good. Zip lines, things? too? Zip what? Lines. Do them okay. separately. <laughs> beer pavilion, maybe after the zip line. Right. Love right. it. Pauline, thank you. Thank you.